Hey guys and girls, brothers and sisters, I hope you're well and dealing with whatever situations are in your life right now in the best way possible with acceptance, be it good or bad. I'm a bit jet lagged, pondering on some thoughts, wanted to share them with you guys, vocalise, sometimes it helps to get them off my chest and I don't have to have them rattling around in my head anymore. But I just wanted to say, veganism is not the message, that's not what I'm trying to preach about the message is not about veganism. The message is love and peace and compassion for other people, other species, other beings we share this planet with. Veganism is just one of the rungs on that ladder for that. We have the ability to feel empathy, you know, compassion towards other humans. You feel it towards your animals, your dogs. We all, we all want world peace, right? Everyone wants world peace. If you don't want world peace, then I'm sorry something happened in your life so bad that you don't want peace for the rest of the planet because that is what we all want and what I realize is one of the most important steps on that ladder is veganism it's as simple as that I want to show gratitude for my life I'm grateful for everything I have I'm grateful for the freedom that I have or that I, as much freedom as I do have within whatever the law permits me to have and to show that freedom the gratitude for the freedom you know, you adopt a vegan diet because to show gratitude for freedom and for life, you don't take freedom and life from other beings or the animals that we share the planet with. So I don't, that's one of the reasons I moved towards a vegan diet was I'm so grateful for what I have. Why take everything I have from another being? You know, you got to look at yourself sometimes, really look, get to know yourself. Why are you doing these things? It's, it's time for society to face facts. I know you don't want to hear this. Some people don't want to hear this. Some people are okay with it. Some people think I'm talking shit. That's cool. You know, you're on your journey. You'll get there. But this isn't opinion. This is not an opinion. This is it. This is how it is. We want world peace. We've got to start making these changes. As hard as diet is to change, it's been conditioned into you three times a day from the start of your life. You've got to start looking towards it, heading towards a vegan diet. I'm not saying change overnight. You know, that would, if everyone turned vegan overnight, that would cause catastrophe for it you know, financial industry or whatever, those things and a lot of farming industries. It's a gradual shift, but we all should start moving in that direction because we all want world peace. And this is the simplest, it, better than recycling, go vegan. Better than changing your car from petrol to electric, go vegan. Better than showering half for half the time. It's so much more impactful to change your diet, to move towards world peace, environmental changes, living with the morals, no one, everyone's against animal cruelty, I see everyone pasting all over Facebook about feeding giraffes to lions, about stopping whales in Japan, everyone's happy for that, but what about the cows, what about the pigs, what do they do any different from dolphins and whales and giraffes, why do we love them so much less, because, you know, we grew up in a culture and a society that said, yeah, it's okay to do that, you know, and it's time to take a look at ourselves, it's hard to look at ourselves as a society, it's time to look at ourselves and say, uh-uh, we did something wrong, you know, slavery, that was wrong. Killing witches on the stake, that was wrong. We were wrong about that. We thought the world was flat. We were pretty sure it was flat. It wasn't flat. We think it's okay to kill animals. We're omnivores. That gives us the choice. That gives us the free will to choose right from wrong, good from evil, positive, negative. You know, I want to choose the good option. I want to be a good person, a good human being. If bees die out, humans die out within two or three years. If ants die out, humans die out within four or five years. If humans die out, the whole animal kingdom throws a fucking party. We are Nazis to them. We ain't doing them no favors right now. It's time to make the decision for good, for righteousness. Animals did nothing wrong. Cows did nothing wrong. They are innocent, unwilling in this situation. There's an injustice on the planet. And it's not our fault. No one's to blame. I'm not against meat eaters. I was a meat eater myself. I'm against the practice of eating meat. That's all. And that's the direction we're headed. And the world's changing. Everyone's, everyone's starting to be aware. People know now. They're going, yeah, you know, you're right. I want to do that. But they're still caught in that addiction. And that's great. That's fine, you know. I was there. It took me months. It's a process. I'm still in the transition. I still smell bacon. It smells fucking great. Don't get me wrong. Meat still smells good. I walk past McDonald's, it smells good. That's not to say it's right. Someone was a heroin addict. 
and they and they quit and then they saw someone with a needle you know they, they still get that twitch in their head that what they want to do but they know what's right it's time for you to stand up and make a decision for what's right in your own time no rush find some friends help you do your own research don't take my word for it but my experience is it's, it's the best thing for me my knowledge is my logic is my wisdom is it's the right thing to do and yours will be too I got there because I'm human and I have the same emotions and thought processes and logic that you have you'll get there as well something to ponder on something to begin with anyway much love guys